What's up guys, it's Moose here, and today we're gonna to be giving a tour of Bruce Hall at the University of North Texas. Now, I looked up Bruce Hall on the internet and I saw a lot of tours, but they weren't extremely accurate and up-to-date. So in this video, we're gonna be giving you an up-to-date tour of Bruce for fall 2020, and we're gonna be looking at how the building looks like, everything in the building, and also the room. So let's get right to it. So when you walk into Bruce Hall, the first thing you're gonna see is the front desk. The front desk is going to be 24 hours a day. So in case you have an emergency, you have any questions, you lock yourself out of your room, you need to borrow practice room keys, you can always come down here and ask for it and they will give it to you. So that is really cool. They also have someone working here all the time. So if you ever need to talk to somebody about anything, the front desk is always gonna be your go-to place. If you walk away from the front desk area right here, you're gonna have some computers. Um, students are allowed to use that anytime they want to. Um, I know for my building personally, I always go to the public computer to do quizzes because sometimes my laptop is not the most reliable. However, because of COVID-19, we're gonna be restricting uh, use of public space things. Um, so next year, the rules might be a little bit different. Over here, you're gonna have the Bruce Hall social media space. So in case you're trying to know anything about what's going on in Bruce Hall, they have their social media here. They have all the information about intramural sports or all the events coming up right here, which is really cool. And when you walk and keep on walking, you're gonna see the Bruce Hall lobby area. Bruce Hall has always been an extremely active hall which means that there's always someone around to hang out with. So typically you'll see a lot of students jamming out at the piano, playing ping pong, playing foosball. However, because of COVID-19, we're gonna be social distancing a little bit. So it's gonna be a little bit more different, but your RAs are still gonna to try to make sure you can make as many friends as possible and you have as normal of a freshman year as possible, which is really cool. Typically, you'd be able to use the ping pong and pool and foosball stuff until 10 p.m. on weekdays and 12 a.m. on weekends. However, for the fall semester, at least, we're not gonna be letting students use them because uh, we're trying to help students social distance and keep safe as much as possible. When you're going through the lobby, you'll see a really cool courtyard right here. Bruce is gonna have two really cool courtyards. So they're gonna have a whole bunch of picnic tables, some grills, and they have a giant chessboard right there too. Um, so you can always come down there and hang out, which is really cool. Um, they have a lot of cool programs out there too. I remember my freshman year, they had part of Bruce Jam right there. Bruce has a lot of cool programs that happen every year. For example, Bruce Jam is a 12 hour concert that happens. They also have the Bruce Haunted House, which is basically a seven day event of Bruce creating a haunted house in their basement and it's completely run by students. This year, because of social distancing, it might be a little bit more different, but they're probably gonna be doing something very similar to that too, which is really cool. As we keep walking right here, we're gonna see Bruce Cafeteria right here. Bruce Cafeteria is right now closed for the summer, but Bruce is one of the largest cafeterias we have on campus too. It's also one of the cafeteria that's open the longest. In my opinion, Bruce has the best pasta. They also have really cool events throughout the year, like on May the 4th, they'll have a Star Wars theme day where they'll have like everything Star Wars decorations. They'll have like Chewbacca and Han Solo come out and we'll like take pictures with them, which is really cool. They also have like a Harry Potter theme day where they'll decorate everything like Harry Potter theme and all the food is Harry Potter themed too, which is really cool. And as we keep on walking from the cafeteria area, we're gonna have a trophy case for Bruce. Bruce is one of the most historic halls at UNT, so they've won a lot of trophies. Bruce has typically always been very involved in all kinds of things like the intramurals and homecoming, and Bruce shows a lot of pride in it too. So you'll always see Bruce very involved in winning a lot of trophies, which is really cool. As you walk down the hall, you're gonna see a trash chute right here. Uh, Bruce is one of the only halls that has a trash chute, which is really nice because you don't have to go outside to throw the trash. Just make sure you don't dive through it. Um, there's a sign right there for that. I don't know why, but it's kind of funny. Um, over here, we're gonna have some pool tables. Um, you can check out normally the pool equipment from the front desk. However, because of COVID-19, we're not gonna be letting students do that for the fall at least. Um, however, if COVID-19 gets better and things are getting easier, we're probably gonna be letting students use these equipment right here. As you keep on walking right here, we're gonna see the Marumba room where they have a Marumba and they also have another practice room right there. Bruce is famous for always having majority music majors live here. All the music majors love living in this space. Um, they also have some really cool practice rooms downstairs that we're not gonna be able to see today. 
but the practice rooms are super cool and you can art like change the acoustics in it too um, which is really cool however we're not gonna be able to see it right now because it's locked for the summer all right guys so next up we're gonna go and check out what the bruce room looks like now bruce is gonna be a double occupancy room which means that you're gonna be sharing the room with one other person so let's go check it out real quick so in order to go into bruce um, you're going to have to have your ID with you in order to go into the wing. So if you don't have your ID, you are not going to be able to get in. If you have people over, you have to escort them in, you have to escort them out. Uh, because of COVID-19, we are going to be having a lot stricter visitation rules. We're strongly recommend students to not have people over at all. Um, if you guys want to come up here, we're going to have the laundry spaces. So um, the laundry at Bruce is going to be decentralized. So there's going to be small laundry rooms throughout the building. So if you ever see this one full, you can always walk across the hall and find another one. There's going to be more machines there. And uh, the machines are going to be completely pointless. So if you don't have quarter, you don't have to have quarters or anything like that. You just bring yourself, you detergent, you're good to go. In case someone doesn't know how to do the laundry, we even have how to do your laundry instructions right there. All right guys, now that we've seen the laundry room area, we're gonna go right ahead and check out the room real quick. So if you guys wanna follow me right here. So this is what a standard double occupancy room is going to look like at Bruce Hall. So you're gonna be sharing this room with you and your roommate. The room will come with a lockable bed that goes up to three feet high so you can put a lot of stuff underneath it as storage. You're going to have a desk and your chair for each person. And then you're also going to get your own closet space that's gonna look a little something like this. And you're also going to have a small little vanity area too, which is really cool. So some other cool things about Bruce is gonna be the fact that we also have a lot of drawers right here and a lot of storage space right here too. So you and your roommate can divide these up amongst y'all themselves however you want to and really put a lot of things down here too, which is really cool. Bruce is one of the few halls at UNT that you can change the temperature of the room to. And we're also gonna have a ceiling fan right there, which is really cool. And you're gonna have the sink in your room also. In terms of the bathroom, uh, Bruce is going to be a community style bathroom, which means that you're not going to have the bathroom in your room. It's going to be down the hallway. However, you're going to be sharing the bathroom with someone that's the same gender identity as you. So the wing is going to be all male if it's a male wing and they're going to be sharing the same bathroom area and it's completely coded so other people can't go in. Uh, the bathrooms are clean five days a week, so you don't have to worry about cleaning the bathrooms either and you don't have to provide for your toilet paper, which is really cool. Um, this is what the bathroom areas are going to look like in a picture. That was our tour of Bruce Hall at the University of North Texas. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and also check out the tour videos I've made for other halls. In the description below, I put in some basic information about the hall too and also some recommendations for dorm essentials that I would strongly recommend buying based off of my living on campus for three years. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I hope you all have an amazing day.